Hello to all. Uh, today we are going to study the symmetry found in various organism and the symmetry is also used as the basis of the classification in the animal kingdom. And there are basically three types of the symmetry. One is known as the asymmetry, another is known as the radial symmetry and the third one is known as the bilateral symmetry. Now the question arises that what do you mean by asymmetry? Asymmetry means what? The organism is not having any kind of a particular symmetry. Means the organisms are asymmetrical here. Right? When any plane, remember this thing, when any plane that passes through the center, when any plane that passes through the center does not divide the body of animal into two equal halves, then such type of the symmetry is called as asymmetry. Again, I am repeating, when any plane that passes through the center does not divide the body of the animal into two equal halves, then such type of the symmetry is called as asymmetry and the organisms are called as asymmetrical. It has been seen that most of the sponges, I am not talking about 100% all of the sponges, but mostly, mostly, generally, the sponges are having the asymmetry, means the sponges or the polyphers are asymmetrical. Fine, this is the first type of the symmetry, known as the asymmetry. Now coming to the second type of the symmetry, known as the radial symmetry. Now see here, when any plane, when any plane passing through the central axis of the body, divide the animal into two equal halves. Again, I am repeating, when any plane, when any plane passing through the central axis of the body, divides the animal into two equal halves, then such type of the symmetry is called as radial symmetry. The best examples of the phylum where the radial symmetry is found are the cylindrates, that is the nidarians. The second phylum is the tenophores, okay, which are commonly called as the sea walnuts or the gooseberries. And the third one is known as the echinodermates. But the point to be noted here that I am not talking about the larva. In the larva of the echinoderms, bilateral symmetry is found. While in the adults, that is the while in the adult echinoderms, which symmetry is found? Radial symmetry is found say for starfishes are having the radial symmetry. So echinoderms, in echinoderms only the adults are having the radial symmetry. If I talk about the larva of the echinoderms then they are not having the radial symmetry, they are having the bilateral symmetry. Fine. And the last type of the symmetry that is the bilateral symmetry. When the body can be divided into, when the body of the animal can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane. Generally that plane is vertical plane, okay? Then the symmetry is called as the bilateral symmetry. Are you getting? When the body can be divided into two identical halves, that is left half and right half in only one plane. Means if only one plane, right? In only one plane, we can cut the organism into two equal halves. If we want to cut the organism into some another plane, then we'll be not getting two equal halves. And always remember, in the bilateral symmetry, the left half is the mirror image of the uh, right half. In fact, if I talk about the human beings also, we are also having the bilateral symmetry only. And majority of the organisms, majority of the phylums, are having this type of the symmetry known as the bilateral symmetry. That's why I have written here that platyhelminthes to the chordates, right? From platyhelminthes to the chordates. See, when we study the classification, first we study the polyphers. So in polyphers, asymmetry is found. Then come cylindrates and tenophores. They are having the radial symmetry. And then uh, from the platyhelminthes onwards, uh, right up till the chordates, the organisms are having bilateral symmetry, say for, I am giving some names, platyhelminthes, 
एस्कीस एनेलिडा आर्थोपोडा मोलस्का इकाइनोडर्मेटा हेमिकोडेटा एंड ऑल द कॉर्डेट्स आर हैविंग द बायोलेट्रल सिमेट्री नाउ द पॉइंट हियर टू बी नोटेड इज बायोलेट्रल सिमेट्री इज फाउंड इन द लार्वा ऑफ इकाइनोडर्म्स बायोलेट्रल सिमेट्री इज फाउंड इन द लार्वा ऑफ इकाइनोडर्म्स नॉट ऑल इकाइनोडर्म्स बिकॉज द एडल्ट इकाइनोडर्म्स आर हैविंग द रेडियल सिमेट्री ओके सो दीज वर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द सिमेट्री विच आर यूज एज द बेसिस ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन इन द एनिमल किंगडम so thanks a lot for watching me